All right, so we're going to try something this summer. Uh, as I play out here, it's gotten extremely hot for one. So it's like 90 to 100 degrees out here in the garage. And we're going to treat this as like a, a hot yoga workout session. I've come up with some penalties for bogeys, missed fairways, missed greens, etc. I've got them written down. I'll put them on the screen right here. And then uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of take all the punishment of bad shots, bad outcomes, even on good shots, and use it to get into some shape. I've been uh, on vacation, I've been traveling, I've been eating, and I just don't like seeing that gut on camera that much. So we're going to get a little tighter, we're going to do some workouts out here, sweat it off. And uh, we're going to start at Dragonfly Golf Club. Hopefully my punishments aren't too bad, uh, but this will be the test. So we'll see how, how hard this gets. So if you want to follow along, you can use this as well. And uh, we'll see you at the end. All right, for day one of Punishment Golf, we find ourselves at the Dragonfly Golf Club. Uh, this is going to be rough. I'm editing this on day four, uh, trying to get a couple of them out, and then I gotta chop up the videos for yesterday and eventually today, and so well, I'll show you kind of how this is going and talk you through it uh, and how I'm feeling today versus uh, this initial round. Dragonfly Golf Club, by the way, pretty cool. I actually really liked it. So hit the fairway on the first, nothing doing. 185 yard into the green and chunked it came up short this was lunge jumps for a missed green and it turns out missed fairway missed green and bogey are like the punishments I was getting the most luckily this thing rolls up on to the green but that's a bogey and so I have a it's like a 20 pound medicine ball and so I've been doing some twists with that and then the doing just like the finishing swing and post up on your left leg with that um, and those are really pretty good exercises for golf just to kind of keep your back strong and your twisting strong Miss Fairway is eight push-ups I was gonna do ten but then I thought I miss like ten fairways around so that's a hundred push-ups so eight was the goal on a par five, I'm giving myself some leeway on the second shot because it's not really a missed green, so I can go into the rough or whatever. Um, and it's not a missed fairway if I go in the rough. Uh, so the second shot on par five, so I'm just kind of doing what I need to do. Went a little long, dead straight on the approach there, but nothing doing on that par five. Get a little break. Hitting a good shot became really important on day two because I was so sore and it was hard to hit a good shot uh, and I ended up doing so much more uh, the course might have been a little harder too. Dragonfly Golf Club was from the white tees it was pretty accessible and it had uh, you can see there's only like a few trees you know if you do get offline it's not that bad this is a hybrid that's in the bag now I've really liked it. Just skirts by the fairway. Rough. Uh, saves me some push-ups. And then trying to send this one. Looks right. Looks long. It's going to be some more lunges. Uh, I did modify these. I was trying to do like the step through jumps on one leg. And I was having so many of them that I went to like the alternating back and forth. Uh, lunge jumps which I think is actually pretty good for golf because you have to push off of one foot pretty hard um, and stay balanced on that one foot and centered so I was kind of using it as a training exercise as well fifth holes a par three need a big bounce Jess gets in there for a par and we have quite a few minutes here of uh, no punishment
this drive's got to go. Oh, so lucky. Big bounce gets into the fairway. And again, on a par 5, this one just kind of do whatever. Unless it's in a bunker, then that's a whole other category. We do find the rough, and we're looking for just a little chip-up birdie here. Nice and low. Ran it up there, and a birdie on the card. We're playing even through six so far, uh, and still have had quite a bit of exercise. Driving the ball good definitely saves you with uh, push-ups. Learned that on day two and three as well. The push-ups were killing me. Bad approach shot here. That's going to be off to the right. And more lunges. Let me know if you like the reminders of what the exercises are. Because uh, I did not put them in the day two edit which you'll see probably in a few days. I'm going to spread these out. I'm going to do it every day for 30 days at least, and maybe every day forever. But if um, I'm going to post them maybe two or three days apart um, to give them a little time uh, during the summer. So here's a Miss Fairway and a Bunker, and these are brutal because you got to do burpees and push-ups and then 109 from a bunker also not ideal needs a bounce it's in the fringe so that's a missed green technically and here yeah we went to these lunge jumps which are so much better and that looks short so I think it's gonna be a bogey hope oh, no it does get there If you guys want to follow along with Punishment Golf, you can do my set of punishments for each thing. You can make up your own. Um, you can have different types of penalties. If you know you hit one left, you get a different penalty than if you hit one right. If you hit one short, you get a different penalty. And if you hit one long, you could break it up into a lot of different exercises if that's what you wanted to do. I just wanted to keep it kind of simple. I thought that was a pretty good effort trying to get to the green. This course, by the way, Dragonfly Golf Club, just ate up my GPU. The computer really struggled to play this one uh, smoothly. So just food for thought if for those people that have kind of less gaming PCs out there like me. This one did have a couple little skips every once in a while like that right there. All right, we come across the back nine. We're still even playing some decent golf while getting a workout. Fatigue starting to set in though with the arms and that one uh, did not close the face. And we're doing more push-ups. Pretty good form, pretty good form, gotta say. Again, just kind of leaking Everything out of sequence. That one's right. Going to be a missed green. And it's kind of nice. You know, your heart rate's up. You're tired. And you got to try and execute a chip. Didn't do it here. And we'll have a bogey. So three exercises on the 10th. I'm just checking what each one is. I'm a little better at it now, but... All right, 11th hole, 382. One of my better drives of the day, right down the middle. All right, from the fairway, 122. Overdraw, catch a piece. Nope, overdraw and too far. More lunges. Those are still hurting. But a good chip and the decent round that we have going continues. 
the workout continues. So far, I'm really liking the idea at this point. I'm like feeling like I'm getting a productive use of my time out there instead of just like putting on a show and kind of jacking around, uh, which is also fun. So I don't know. But so far, I'm liking it. And obviously, like I'm sore. I'm definitely using muscles. Um, I need, you know, to get rid of that gut. I got to eat a little better. But I think that this is the right track. That's going to be another missed fairway. Some more push ups. Plus, knowing that it'll be on camera, um, keeping me accountable for like my form on the push-ups and just doing all of the exercises and uh, I think all of that is good I'm trying to smooth a 50 and every time I do that I like de-loft it and just pound it so <laughs> another missed green Let's see if we can clean this up all right not bad Another par on the card, still at plus one through 13 holes. So Dragonfly Golf Club uh, finding the perfect balance of decent golf uh, as well as some bodily punishment. Fairway and bunker is my least favorite so far. The burpees and the push-ups. Trying to get out at 150 or so, and this long green is going to get a three putt penalty and a bogey penalty. Got to go check what three putt was. Oh, yeah, it was the swings. So the twists and then these uh, post swing finishes were the three putt. Tired of doing push ups, just taking a hybrid off the tee. <laughs> it's that new Callaway. I like that club. One, two, eight remaining. And a huge overdraw. Going for a slight draw, hit it way left. The lunge is becoming a little difficult. And then trying to get it back there. No. More twists. All right, heading over to the 16th. We have water left. Just want to get this one on the green. Hard eight iron maybe for me. Oh, and it's perfect. Wow, that was clutch. Dead at the left side. We're doing all the Sunday pins for these also, which uh, will just make going for the pin locations a little tougher. Stay in. Ugh, just runs out of the fairway for some more push-ups. It's a par five, so this one I kind of get to do whatever. Had to really lay up over that tree though and hit a pretty good one. Leave about 110 in. The grips I have on these clubs right now is not conducive to like super sweaty. But the, uh, oh, I wrote that in wrong. Those are obviously the lunges. I probably bogey it also, though. Nope. Holds the green. Four par. And we'll head over to the last. We're at plus two. Played some pretty good golf here at Dragonfly. Definitely missed fairways and greens and got bogeys and uh, did a few of those exercises. Not really any of the water or out of bounds or triple bogey penalties, but 
I'm sure those are coming because I've done them already. Oh, going for a big slicer and it's going to end up in the bunker, which are burpees. Gross. And a mist green, which is not twists. I don't know why I put that in there the last couple times. Trying to say, trying to get a birdie actually on this par five. Able to save par. I'm gonna let me finish it out with uh, my impressions there live. But like and subscribe. We're doing every day of this. That was absolutely brutal. I'm sweating so much, and my legs are cached. The lunge jumps were a lot. The duration took so long because A, I'm doing the in-between stuff, and then B, my stupid Garmin Bluetooth projector interference crap. I'm going to have to, I'm going to pack my projector with like some foam or something and see if that helps. All right. Someone shoot me a link on an easy, what do they call them, Faraday cage. Something cheap. Shoot me a link for the projector. It's time. The Garmin's being too stupid. Okay, workout, Dragonfly Golf Club. Day one. Complete. See ya. Peace.